It was 2011, and I had spent the last maybe seven years talking to different Christians all over the, well, it was the West at the time. I'd even been to Asia, and I had seen what was going on here in Asia, and I just couldn't get Christians from different denominations and philosophies to talk with each other. So, I decided I could make them talk to each other in fiction. So, that's what I did. It was late 2011, and I pounded out Crossroads at the Day of Bapticos. That was the first book. And about a year and a half later, I encountered Watchman Nee's Underground Christian Fellowship, also known as the Local Church Movement. Now, the Christian Research Journal has actually written an entire issue. I believe it was volume 32, number 6, 2009, entitled We Were Wrong. And they've talked about the local church movement of Watchman Nee and Witness Lee. And I encountered those guys. So I also decided that Christians didn't really understand a lot of the leaders. Mike Bickle, Bill Hybels, Watchman Nee. And also at the time, and I realize this is 2012, I said, you know, a lot of people don't understand money. Well, I had a rich dad, Dave Lewis, and I also understood Donald Trump at the time because the two were so much alike. So, I kind of made a composite character of the two and called him Don. And so, we encounter that guy. There's also the Apostle John and the Apostle Paul. Now, that's Churchianity at the Crossroads. Originally, it was called Crossroads at the Way in Churchianity, but I decided to change the series. At the Crossroads sounds better. Now, I might put these into one book one day, but these are playwrights. They're just scripts. You can use them. It's free. You can do a performance with it. Sell money. You don't need my permission. N nothing. But every actor must have a legal copy. And as an ebook, it's free. So there you go. If you have a legal copy, you can perform it, charge money for it, promote it, take it. it it's it, this is free. It's my gift to the church because this was the church's gift to me that I was able to understand these. Now, Bapticost was the first book, and that's where you get this. Uh, Baptist-style, like, conservative, not too heavy on the miracles and ooga-booga seminary student, and he meets Jesus. And then, not too long after that, they meet Captain Charismatic, and it's really interesting. And some of the conversations are actually from friends who sort of fit those stereotypes that I've known, and Jesus mediates. It's quite funny. Now, when you get to the end of Churchianity, the Churchianity book, one of those two characters shows up and talks to Helen. And Helen was this little old lady that I've actually done some videos about on YouTube, where, where she, she says, you know, some of these Christians only go, go just so far, and she says, that's what I'm concerned about, and then she plays just a closer walk with Jesus. Helen actually was playing piano during the early 1900s revival era, when all the famous speakers were going through Michigan on their way up to Petoskey, they'd stop at Reed City and they'd talk to Helen, they'd talk to the Christians there, and she'd play piano for those things. And she goes back to the real day. So at the end of Churchianity, one of the characters from the first play, Bapticost, or book if you will, goes and talks to Helen and, well, you really kind of have to read the book, but hopefully, Christians talking to each other won't remain fiction much longer.